वेलकम बैक टू द मैथ सेशन इन द सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स ऑफ इंटरमीडिएट मैथ्स वन ए वी आर डिस्कसिंग एक्सरसाइज सिक्स ई नाउ वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियस अप टू ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन चैप्टर इन अबाउट ट्वेंटी नाइन वीडियो लेसन अप टू नाउ एंड दोज ऑफ नॉट वॉच दोज वीडियो लेसन जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द चैनल प्ले लिस्ट यू विल बी गेटिंग नोटिफाइड एंड द इमीडिएट प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ सेक्शन थ्री ऑफ सिक्स ई एक्सरसाइज you will be getting notified by just clicking on the i card there right we will be continuing the ex uh, exercise 6e of section 3 right now in section 3 the sixth problem i have noted down if none of x y z is an odd multiple of 90 degrees and if sin of y plus z minus x sin of z plus x minus y sin of x plus y minus z are in ap arithmetic progression then prove that tan x tan y tan z are in ap so given this condition they are in ap sign conditions and we have to prove tan all these in ap right we will get started with a given thing so given thing in any ap so if three numbers are in ap suppose a b c are in ap then how do we represent that the difference between the terms must be common that is there they should exist a common difference that means so the difference between t2 minus t1 that is b minus a should be equal to 3 uh, t3 minus t2 okay so this is a condition for ap likewise if these three are in ap that is given so we will consider them like b minus a is equal to c minus b so let us write sin of z plus x minus y this is b minus of this sin of y plus z minus x is equal to t3 minus t2 so that's the definition of ap right minus sin of z plus x minus y okay So minus y. So if you are seeing these two, sine c minus sine d, sine c minus sine d, we will do it using the transformations. So for the transformation of this, we get it as here. Yeah, supposing this as c and this as d. So this comes to two cos c plus d by two. So that is z plus x minus y plus y plus z minus x divided by two, and sin of c minus d by 2 so c e z plus x minus y minus of all these three y minus z minus of minus plus x right upon 2 the similar way we will do the transformation for this also okay so let's write this here let's keep it in box here okay now this is equal to this one here so this comes to 2 cos of c plus d this plus this x plus y minus z plus z plus x minus y by 2 and sin of c minus d by 2 so that is x plus y minus z minus z minus x plus y minus of minus plus so what are the terms which are going off so minus and plus uh here minus and plus the same way if you see here minus z plus z okay that's all here minus z plus z minus y plus y here we have minus x and plus x that's all so let's write this so this comes to here we do, we do have the equal to so 2 cos of 2z by 2 that is only z and sin of here we have 2x and 2y so 2x minus 2y by 2 so we can cancel of 2 that is just x minus y equals to the same way 2 cos we have 2x by 2 that is simply x and sin of 2y minus 2z So y minus z two can be cancelled off. Now here, if you are seeing, we can just cancel off these two also here, and 
we will expand this so cos z sin a minus b form so compound angles sin a cos b minus cos a sin b likewise we will expand this so this is sin a cos b a and b minus cos a sin b similar way here also cos x into sin a minus b form we will expand that is sin y cos z minus cos z sin y so the a and b a and b okay now we will open the bracket this comes to cos z sin x cos y minus cos z cos x sin y equals to cos x sin y cos z right minus here again cos x just multiplying opening the brackets and multiplying so if you see here we got the terms we will divide throughout this side as well as this side throughout by cos x cos y and cos z okay dividing throughout by cos x cos y cos z so let's do that if you are uh, cos z sin x cos y divided by cos x cos y cos z so i'm doing the partition of the lcm again here also each term we are dividing by cos x cos y and cos z equals to same way cos x sin y cos z divided by cos x cos y and cos z minus cos x cos y sin z divided by cos x cos y and cos z so what are the terms common we will cancel it off we have here cos y and cos y cos z and cos z here here also cos z cos z and cos x cos x goes of here cos x cos x cos z cos z goes of here if you see cos x and cos y so what are the remaining things so i'll write it down here this comes to tan x minus tan y equals to tan y minus tan z so if you see so if you see this condition tan x minus tan y is equal to tan y minus tan z so clearly we can say that i'll write it here therefore therefore we can say that tan x comma tan y comma tan z are in ap are in ap right so if they are in ap so this b minus a tan y minus tan x is the same thing tan y minus tan z see this this minus this is this minus this if you take minus out both sides you get the same term okay so from this we can infer that tan x tan y tan z are in ap so this is the final one there is no space there i have written here okay please pause it and note it down seventh problem x y z are non zero real numbers and if x cos theta is equal to y cos theta plus 2 pi by 3 z equal to z cos theta plus 4 pi by 3 that is the condition given for some theta belongs to r then show that x y plus y z plus z x is equal to 0 so there is a similar problem like this in section 2 the first bit which i had done it in my previous session i, I think uh, um, in the 27th uh, video lesson i had done this there is a similarity here where we have here cos theta plus cos theta plus 2 pi by 2 3 and cos theta plus 4 pi by 3 is equal to 0 that we have to prove equal to 0 so that bit is in the second section of the first one now here if you see if you are starting with this given thing let us suppose the complete thing as k x cos theta equals to k okay so that means cos theta is equal to k by x similarly y this is all these are equal isn't it so y cos theta plus 2 pi by 3 equals to k suppose 
that means we get cos theta plus 2 pi by 3 equals to k by y. Similarly, we can take this as z cos theta plus 4 pi by 3. So, that means I am supposing this as some constant k. So, the constant k is equal to here z into cos theta plus 4 pi by 3. So, that means just cos theta we get k by z. Okay. So, from these three we got all these three. So, let us add all of them. That means so k plus x plus k plus y k plus z. That means RHS part I have added. So, this comes to cos theta cos theta plus 2 pi by 3 plus cos theta plus 4 pi by 3. So, the question which I was telling that the second section first bit, this is the question. This was proved to be 0, okay. That we will prove it again, but that is there in the third section, second section. So, this will become equal to 0 here. How we get 0 that we will, I will do it later here since we will do. So, this k by x plus k by y. Now, let me take uh, k common here. So, 1 by x, 1 by y, 1 by z equals to 0. How this became 0, we will, I will show it later on here. Here this becomes, if you are taking x, y, z as LCM. So, y, x and x, z plus x, y equals to 0. If you shift these two to the other side, they become reciprocal. Something into 0 is equal to 0 again. So, we get therefore y, z plus x z plus x y equals to 0. Finally, we have to prove this. Now, how we got this? How we got this cos theta plus cos theta plus 2 pi by 3 cos theta plus 4 pi by 3. Now, 2 pi by 3 is 120 degrees, right? So, here can write this as cos theta plus 2 pi by 3 or 2 pi by 3 plus theta one and the same so this becomes like we can write this as 120 plus theta that means 180 minus 60 180 minus 60 minus theta you can write the, here in this way so if i open the bracket 180 minus 60 plus theta so plus theta 120 degrees the same way we will write here also cos of so, this is 240. 240 plus theta, I will write it as 270 minus 30 minus theta. So, just open the bracket 270 minus 30 plus theta. Okay. 270 minus 30 is 240. Minus of minus plus theta is 240 plus theta. So, here this becomes cos theta only here. Cos of uh, 180 means cos function only we get. And 180 minus so that comes to the second quadrant in second quadrant cos function is negative so minus 60 minus theta here here cos 270 it will change it is a complement it becomes sine 270 minus means in the third quadrant again cos is uh, negative so take it as negative sine 30 minus theta now here this is the compound angles so, cos a minus b sin a minus b, we will expand it here. Cos theta minus cos 60 cos theta. If it is minus, it becomes plus for cos function, but plus and here we have minus. So, it becomes minus again. Sin 60 sin theta minus. Here again we will expand sin 30 cos theta Actually, minus means minus only here. But again, we have minus here. Minus of minus plus. For minus function, we, we get plus for cos. But here it is minus. We have taken minus. Here for sine function, we have here minus. For minus, we will take minus only. Minus of minus is plus. So, this is cos 30 sine theta. Right. So, we will uh, write the values cos 60 degrees is 1 by 2 cos theta by 2 minus root 3 sin theta by 2 okay, minus 
sin 30 is 1 by 2 again cos theta by 2 here plus here uh, root 3 sin theta by 2. Okay. If you see here plus and minus goes off here half uh, theta half cos theta half cos theta is 1 cos theta so minus cos theta and plus cos theta goes off so this becomes 0. So hence we have written in place of this 0. So, hence we got it as yz, zx, Z, Z, uh, xz plus xy equal to 0. Pause the video, note it down. Hope you have understood today's uh, problems. In the next session, we will see the remaining problems of 6 exercise. Thank you all.